You lie there on the sofa with that confusing look on your face. The one that says you're tired, bored, happy, and excited all at the same time. Your position indicates a mocking attempt of seduction. Legs spread wide open, shirt tied up in a knot, your thick hair disheveled and entangled, tongue repeatedly caressing your mouth. I call to you, hoping to gain your attention, and when you ignore me, I pretend you didn't hear me the first time. I call your name again. With a shake of your head and an annoyed look, you look at me with your big brown eyes and say, serve me. Your mindless servant, I obey you. Your, ador your adorable figure is simply too strong to resist. I walk to the refrigerator to find your favorite five o'clock refreshment, making sure that I prepare it properly because it would be sinful for me to prepare you something that wasn't both wet and dry at the same time. <laughs> it isn't until you find, it isn't until you hear the food hitting your plate that you finally recognize anything other than yourself existed. You walk over to the table, more, more eager to eat than acknowledge my actions and it isn't until after you finish eating and after you're done using your own private facilities that sh your eyes grow big, you get down on the floor, and your tail wags dictating it's time to play. <laughs> you see, you see, despite the graphic ideas that we perverted primates share, it is not a sexy woman lying on the couch eating my food, but my dog, using nothing more than a tilt of the head and a few blinks of his eye for me to do my bidding. <laughs> but I am not alone in my servitude. Can't you see the canines and the felines rule the world? We are their pets. We live so we can serve them. The idea of domestication is a sham. The war between cats and dogs has overcontrolled the human race. It was the canines who dubbed themselves man's best friend. They knew they were in trouble when we started fighting back against them for our ancestors. We, they knew that keeping your friends close and enemies closer was wise. <laughs> And it was the felines who responded with the creation of the internet. Some were Facebook and Google, the machines they used to control children's minds, teaching them to make that false promise, yes, mommy, I'll clean up after him. <laughs> and it is the Chihuahua, that king of the conspiracy, he who gets those hot, voluptuous, and bodacious 23-year-old blondes to carry him around in a designer handbag. <laughs> that costs more than my car, please. Brothers, sisters, stop kidding yourselves. Please, please, the next time you are about to scoop up that little gift your precious little angel left you in the living room with your bare hands, ask yourself, why the heck am I doing this? <laughs> and I guarantee you, your precious little pooch with a shake of his head and a few blinks of his eye will say, because I told you to, bitch. <laughs>